So guys, we got this 2007. I think it's a 2007. Yeah, 2007 Honda Accord, and the AC ain't working. See, we got it on AC. It's on cold, free circulation, and I just hooked my gauges up quick. And we got pressure. Pressure looks low, but our compressor ain't turning on. I don't know if you can see that compressor ain't turning on. Now I did look at this. I just noticed this that this connector is all busted. I'm gonna quick pull this connector apart, see if it's like corroded in here or something, because water can definitely get into that. You know what? This is for the fan. I just sell that. That one goes to the fan. This one down here doesn't look good. I don't know why there's a rubber. Is that supposed to be a connector in there? Is this how they normally are? I'm guessing that's how they normally are, or somebody broke the connector. Guess we'll see if we have power going down to the clutch. It's gonna be really easy to hook my test light up now. I'm assuming somebody broke the connector. So guys, I connected my test light to battery ground. You can see the lights on battery plaza from over here to this. So we have no control. So I can hook up a scan so we can see if it's disabled. Or we could go to the fuse box. There's a fuse box is right here, so we can check this real quick. Maybe it's shorted out from that being exposed, like with just the tape on it. So guys, I put the I found the a relay. So if I turn the AC on now. Test light lights. Okay guys, so the car started overheating. I don't think we have any fan control either. So if I, if we put the key on, so I don't know if the key has to be on, I gotta look at the diagram for this. But this is a fan circuit, and I tried bypass relay, and we get nothing on the fans. And I tried the other spot, but if I put this into here with the car running, our, I don't know if you can hear that, our compressor actually. Hopefully you hear that clicking. That's our uh, compressor. The compressor does turn on while the car is running, but it's low on charge because it pulled down to like 20 PSI on the low side. The high side was at like 110. So it's definitely low on charge. So we got to figure out why this fan ain't working. Okay guys, so I back probed the connector right here with my headlight bulb. Got both elements on. Got my bypass relay here. Here's what we're testing. It's this 20 amp fuse through the relay down to here. So the fan's still plugged in. So we're gonna turn this on. Hang on, we might not have a good connection here. There we go. That gets hot fast. But there we go. So look at that, I can turn it on and off right here. So that proves our circuit's good. Our fan should be turning on right now. And our fan isn't, and we're connected on the fan side. See, this is the fan side. So, now we'll check this side. We could have two bad fans. So I'm going to set this side up, and then we'll test this side. Okay, guys, so now we're on the other side. We got a radiator fan here. 20 amp comes down to the motor. Look at that. So now we proved we have two bad cooling fans, and I think our relay is stuck on. I think that might have been why. Oh, maybe it wasn't stuck on. I thought this one was stuck on when I took it out. Let's check the other one. one has something flopping around in it. Here. It's 
So now we're going to need some new relays. And we'll need a rat eater fan. Let's check this relay. Yeah, I could have swore that the one was stuck when I first pulled it out. Because I think my headlight turned on. But, yeah. So we got two bad coin fans. Crazy. I'll disconnect the connectors. Just make sure that there's no issue. No visible issues. But, and there's nothing stopping the fan from turning. So yeah, I think we just got two bad fans. It's crazy. Oh, there it goes. Look at that, guys. Just spinning it made it start going. See that? It starts going. It's trying to go. But the brushes are probably worn. So guys, look. If I turn this on. Okay, so we're on. Come down here, spin the fan. Look at that. Now it's starting to work. Crazy. So guys, I uh, I spun the fans. Look, they got I got them spinning, but as soon as you shut this off, that one's really, really slow. But this one's spinning pretty fast right now, but it's not gonna start back up. But right now I got the AC compressor jumped on. You can see we're at 10 PSI on the low and 125 on the high. If I shut it off, you'll see what we come down, we come up to. So there you go, I just turned it on. So that's not good. So I'm gonna see if they want to do a radiator fan on here, but we confirmed what it is, low on charge. Fan's not working, relay's bad. Crazy. Okay guys, so I got my AC machine hooked up. We'll open up our valves. Let's see, open, open, and we'll open up our gauges. And we'll start evacuating this. And we'll see how much we get out. It goes pretty quick. Well, actually, it usually goes pretty quick, but I don't think we have much in here. Just look at our look at our gauges already. We're down under 10, so there wasn't much in here. We can have like an eighth of a pound. Yeah, we just had like an eighth of a pound. I'm gonna shut these so that we don't just in case there's a leak. I don't want to pull this whole thing in. There. Yeah, we didn't have much. So, let's shut this off. Uh, we'll leave this open. We'll turn this to a purge. Purge, I'll purge out our machine. And that's all we got out of there. 0 So yeah, that's not a lot. Yeah, see we're in a vacuum. There's there's nothing in there. I'm gonna pull a full vacuum on the system using my vacuum pump. And we'll go from there. So guys, got the old radiator fan out right here. They look to be pretty similar. Slight like design change. But I'm gonna get in, I wanna show you guys a trick. So what I did was since this had one of these caps, I pulled up on this cap. And then I squeezed the hose, and then I took uh, I took the cap off, and then I used this to, because once, I mean, I took the bottle off, because then it put a, put a bunch of coolant into the bottle. So then I used this, these things are pretty cool, just like a giant syringe. So then I just kept squeezing the hose and pulled the coolant out, so then that way I didn't, like, get a mess. Like, there was a tiny bit of coolant that came out, but not much at all. So it made it really nice. So I'm gonna get this new radiator in and we'll try it. Okay guys, I guess this is the wrong radiator. Look at that. 
Well, I mean the wrong radiator fan. I keep saying radiator, but you can see how this hole doesn't line up. All the other ones do, so I'm going to call them and see what's going on. Actually, I'll pull this back out. We'll compare it to the old one. So here we go. If you look, we hold these up. This side's definitely different. Is the bottom right? Now the bottom's slightly different, so that's why that side didn't line up right. Because these, these two are lined up. It's crazy. It's not to call them. Okay, guys, so I got the... I got the new fan in. Got everything clipped together, I think. Um, I'm going to connect this AC compressor line up. Or this wire, and I'll probably put heat shrink over it. I guess we'll... Just connect this first and keep it out of the way so it doesn't short out and we'll see. We'll make sure everything works first. And then I'll probably just put a piece of heat shrink over it, hold it together with the glue. Yeah, I'll have to do this one handed. So guys, just hook my gauges up. We're still in a vacuum. I think I pulled like 15 inches of it on this like three days ago or so whenever we worked on it last. That was before I just showed you guys putting the fan in. But yeah, it's been like three or four days, so that should be good. So I'm gonna I'll pull a complete I'll pull more of a vacuum out of my vacuum pump. Because I think that's all, all my uh covering machine pulls. And then we'll put the relays in because I got three new relays. And we'll go from there. This guy's right here with my new inverter. Plugged in, pulling a vacuum. Let's see how deep we are. Look at that. So I'm gonna disconnect the vacuum pump and we'll get the scale and the tank out here and then we'll see if it leaked out at all. Just gotta clean this stuff up. Here we go. Try not to let my lines hang on the ground. Okay guys, we got the new relays in. It's been sitting in a vacuum now for like an hour. So I'm gonna set this up to charge, we'll press enter. Let's just... Look at our high side coming up. Oh, well, there we go, look, everything turned on. Our fans kicked on like they're supposed to. There's a lot of air going through there now. And we'll just keep going. So this says it's charged. See what it's starting to feel like inside. It's starting to get cool. Yeah, it's starting to get cool. That our high side's coming up.
I think our bottle might be running empty. Still going. Then I was told that I might want to invest in a bottle warmer. Oh guys, it's pretty cold coming out of here right now. That's awesome. I'm gonna let this go until we fill this and then I'll come back. So guys, look at this. Our low side's at like, what? 36, 37. High side's at, is that like 240? 240? Let's see. Let's check our AC performance chart. Right now it's 88.3 with 57.7 humidity. So if we go to 88.3 right here. So we should be 32 to 47. Pretty close to the middle of that. Uh, I think our high side's a little high. And our duct temp should be, what, 61 or so? What are we getting out of our duck? 55? Yeah, 55.9. Like, I don't know what's accurate. Like, it, it's been so hot. So, like, this is saying it's 91. That's saying 88. I think I think we'll be good, though, because we got a really cool duck temp. I have the windows down right now. Let's double check. Oh, it looks like our high side's a little lower now. I think it's around 225. Or maybe I looked at that wrong. So yeah, we're around like 225, so I'd say that's probably pretty good. And we got 54 coming out of the vents right now. Let's see what happens if we put the vent windows up. Let's see if it'll drop. But man, this thing's ice cold. Compared to outside. Look at that drop. I'm going to let this sit here, and then we'll come back and we'll see what it is. Look at this, guys. 46 degrees coming out of the duct. Yeah, 46, both of them. It's been sitting here for like 15 minutes or so. Confirmed fix, guys. Temperature staying down. Hope you guys like it. All I needed was a radiator fan. Three. Three relays. And, uh... Free on. See you later.